think one of the biggest challenges humanity is going to face in the coming years is related to our relationship with nature and how also we can change to be better integrated within our biosphere. At Intercellular Lab, we're trying to build a solution which could help on protecting species, on growing plants in a more efficient way, on bringing solutions for food production in the future. 3D Experience Platform help us move from a concept to a manufactured product. Within less than 24 months, this is super fast. And we're not talking about a small gadget. This is big boy. <laughs> When I was a child, I was very passionate about our planet, nature, species. I had also a dream, which was to go and live on other planets. Everything that I'm doing right now, I was doing when I was a kid. Our mission is to preserve life on Earth and to help life expand in space. To help humans live in a more sustainable way with nature, we are using technology as a tool so we can grow plants in a much more efficient way and not harming our environment. So Biopod is a cocoon, it's like an inflatable structure inside which we autonomously recreate any type of climate by using as less resources as possible to optimize the condition so we can grow plants in a faster and more efficient way. What is very hard when you build a product is to move from a simulation to a product that is actually manufactured. And using a 3D experience, especially you know, building this digital twin of the biopod, help us keep the different steps of having too many prototypes. So it's making us move very fast, being super flexible, uh, and do very quick iterations. The first time I saw the biopod, it was a very strange moment. Like you come up with a design and then you have a product and boom, the biopod exists and there are plants growing inside. In 10 years from now, we'll have uh, many biopods installed all over the world and we will have our first system on the space station and probably on the moon. Nothing is impossible. Only progress is human. Das Ossystem.